You may think this is how plastic gets into the ocean, but it's not. Here is one of the many ways plastic might end up in the ocean. After you recycle or throw away your bottle, it gets picked up by the garbage or recycling truck. Where it might fall out into the street and roll down the storm drain. Even if the plastic bottle makes it to the landfill or recycling plant, there is still a chance it will make it to the ocean by falling out of transport vehicles or blowing away into the water. A lot of people believe that most plastic in the ocean is caused by ships and marine traffic, but they are only responsible for 20%. Land-based activities contribute 80% of the plastic in the oceans. Littering on beaches and coastlines and cities dumping garbage into rivers and bays are both ways for plastic to make its way into the ocean. Back to our plastic bottle. It has fallen into the storm drain which in the Bay Area leads directly to the San Francisco Bay. You may think this bay is clean, but in reality it has tons of plastic particles floating on the surface. This happens because when the bottle reaches the bay, the sun and the water will break it up into tiny pieces, which either float on the surface of the water or wash up on beaches. Birds may think that the colorful and shiny pieces are fish and eat them. The birds may fill up on these plastic particles, and because plastic has no nutritional value, they may starve from malnutrition or even choke on a piece of plastic. A million birds die every year from these plastic pieces. Birds aren't the only animals affected. Marine life will eat the plastic pieces as well as floating bags and plastic rings. Turtles can mistake the plastic bag for jellyfish, a food source for them. Instead of the plastic pieces spreading throughout the ocean evenly, the ocean currents gather all of the plastic into a relatively small area that we call the Great Pacific Gyre. We say a relatively small area, but compared to the Pacific Ocean, a relatively small area is about twice the size of Texas. Or the size of Alaska. Let's take a look at what goes on inside the gyre. The yellow fish will represent the short-term effects of ingesting plastic, and the green fish will represent the long-term effects. This fish is choking and dying from eating plastic. There are other long-term effects of plastic pollution in the ocean, but this fish is showing how plastic can travel up the food chain and eventually the plastic will get to us. Eating plastic is thought to disrupt normal hormone function as well as containing toxins and pollutants. The next time you eat seafood, think about it, because you are what you eat. water is cheaper and is as safe or safer than bottled water. You can buy reusable metal bottles and fill them with tap water. Don't buy your fruit in plastic. Put it in your cloth bag. The recycling number can be found in the center of the recycling symbol. Get creative with your arts and crafts projects. <laughs>